Over in the pages of Marvel Comics' current X-Men Red series, Storm and the Mutants of Arako are currently doing battle with the former wife of Apocalypse, now known as Genesis. Genesis is in a really foreboding situation right now because she's being influenced by the staff of Annihilation. Thankfully, Storm isn't alone, and one of the friends of the late great Magneto, known as the Fisher King, is set to take the spotlight in the latest chapter of X-Men Red thanks to a power upgrade he got from a mysterious being known as Shiloh. My name is Ariko Braddock, and today, let's go ahead and explore the pages of X-Men Red issue 15 to see how Storm and the Fisher King are going to do battle against Genesis and her forces. Before we get deeper into the video, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button over on our video. Sins of the Past Under siege in Port Prometheus, Storm readies to hold the line against the ultimate bioweapon. Meanwhile, the Fisher King finds himself tormented by his strange new abilities with the secrets in his memory might turn the tide of the Genesis War. X-Men Red Issue 15 is written by Al Ewing, featuring art from Yildare Sinar, colors from Federico Blee. We have letters from VCs Ariana Mayer and design from Tom Muller and Jay Bowen. In addition, here's the cover coming in directly over from Stefano Caselli and Jesus Abertov. Really like how this cover captures some of the nuance over in the battle between Storm and Genesis while spotlighting the Fisher King and kind of cluing readers in over to his power upgrade with some of the tendrils over on this cover. And I want to extend a very fast thank you to Adventures in Poor Taste and spend just a few moments really focusing in on the incredible artwork here from Yildare Sinar. I really found that author Al Ewing delivered a really complicated and heady script over to the pages of X-Men Red. It was really fantastic seeing uh, such a precise artist like Yildare Sinar really navigate some of the internal tension and really strange aliens over in the issue. This series started with an incredibly fun opening page as we get introduced to this character of Zazoth, and I really do think that Al Ewing's script, as well as Sinar's art, does a great job capturing the Fisher King from a young child to his current adult man status fused with this Shiloh creature as well as we sort of get caught up with the internal politics over with our X-Men Red characters. As we really explore the battle between Genesis and Storm, I really do think this series has done a great job establishing a sense of place referencing locations across Arako, like the Spire Vial, as well as just returning to some characters across this series, like Iska the Unbeaten. Another aspect of this tale I really like coming in over from Al Ewing was how the Fisher King was featured as the sort of point of view character across this book, lending some interesting captions and narration across this title. Learning about Fisher King's relationship with Zora and some of his previous uh, family matters was so harrowing and just introduced a great sense of empathy for me as a reader here. I also really like how Al Ewing has kind of continued to explore some of the elements from Ten of Swords and the characters that were introduced there like Solemn across this series as well as some of the other books in the greater X-Men line of titles here. Another really interesting thing to note, which you can find across several Al Ewing titles, is how he likes to sort of transform characters. The Fisher King goes on quite the journey in this series that's also punctuated by his past. Early on in the storyline, uh, the Fisher King kind of realizes that there's something that may be kind of trapped in his past that's sort of triggering his memories. And seeing how Al Ewing uses this plot point to kind of punctuate some of the final aspects of the issue is really, really thrilling over in this story. But just as the Fisher King is kind of going through a settled transformation of sorts, I also think it's interesting how Genesis is being influenced by the staff of Annihilation here. I am really curious to see sort of how that plays out and if maybe taking the staff of Annihilation away from Genesis would change or revise her greater character. There were also a few additional elements and players of X-Men Red that are introduced back over into this series 
And with the recent issue of Immortal X-Men, I'm also curious as to how that book is going to play currently over with this chapter in X-Men Red. Plus, we still have the combined might of the Fisher King and Storm to do battle with the rest of those characters. One final aspect that I wanted to mention over on this chapter of X-Men Red was I found it thrilling that Genesis was working with some of the members of the Great Ring across this issue and even kind of references Storm as a rebel to Arako. With Genesis kind of founding such a strong force already, I think the stakes of X-Men Red are starting to get really high across these final issues. And it looks like we are finally in some of the last stages of the Genesis War here. So at the end of the day, I thought X-Men Red issue 15 was a fantastic story that established a really harrowing backstory over for the Fisher King that Al Ewing has been setting up across so many issues in X-Men Red learning about his situation and getting to know the character of Azazoth as well as some of the Fisher King's family like Zora was really, really thrilling. I think Zora is a really standout character across this particular chapter. And I think some of the more like harrowing ways that these mutants of Arako carry themselves really make them interesting as individuals. And it does seem like there is a sort of greater place in the Marvel Universe for the X-Men Red characters of Arako. I want to know from you, did you love this issue as much as I did? What were some of your ideas behind the backstory of the Fisher King? And are you sort of as immersed with this character as I currently am? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming to check out our video review over for X-Men Red. And we'll be back in the near future to see the end of the Genesis War and wherever Fall of X takes the future of X-Men Red next. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.